Hello. Yep, I'm back. Yes, I have a hat on because there have been some changes with the hair. And right now, I'm not going to show you the hair because I had to take a quick shower this morning because of reasons. And the front that I had had a little curl in is now kind of flat. So I'll put that back together later. Anyway, I figured I'd let you know what's going on lately. Um, I'm using the Z Color Unisex One, which was quote unquote inspired by the Laura Lee Cat's Pajamas. I think it's kind of, I, it, it was one of the reach in, grab something that I knew was new, and just go for it. So it was one of them. Sorry about hitting the camera. Probably made a few of you dizzy. Anyway, I got the Elf Primer Putty on the eyes. Got my sunscreen and stuff. Oh. You know, it's like, this stuff is so thick. This is my, my face sunscreen. I use a spray on the rest of me. But this stuff is so thick and so emollient that it makes it difficult to put anything else with it. Now these, the C color palette does not have color names. Come on, my is. baby. That is the grand boy who stuck his little face in, among other things. It's a mama and a daddy. <sighs> he just absolutely adores Karen thinks they're the most wonderful things in the world. Perfect. Wants to get all up in the camera stuff. What? Very neat. Now, let's see. What am I doing today? I'm doing some errands. Errands. <laughs> and then... Errands. That's Green Bear, by the way. He didn't bring Granny Bear there. That's what he's calling the one that I made. Get that out of the fridge. Go fuck it. Give it a good fuck it. He calls the one that I made for him Granny Bear. But Granny Bear kind of sits in a special place upstairs safe. <laughs> Green Bear is the one that gets all of the abuse currently. That's me. Green Bear has a very deep voice, in case you can't tell. Tell? Got errands to run, got meds to pick up. Wow, that's so pretty. Thank you. <laughs> and then I'm going to come home, and if I've really got enough energy, I'm hoping, I'm going to be ripping my closet apart and sorting through because a bunch of them don't fit anymore. anymore. And then, now mostly I'm going to be taking. It's ready. I'm going to be taking stills. Taking stills. Because I don't have a way to set up. Set up. A live run camera while I'm doing the clothing yeah. sort. My grandson is wonderful. My grandson? But he's going to drive me to drink. <laughs> okay, buddy. But anyway. Anyway. Don't touch the camera. Sorry. He it makes it wobble. Too. Wobble? I'm going to make you wobble and chase you up the stairs. I will chase you up the stairs. You are being a silly boy. Not you, Gray. Silly boy. Not you. Yes, me. Not you. Yes, me. Why? I got you. Watch the language. 
watch the language. Whatever. Don't give me some whatevers. I'm not using a whatever palette today. Yes, there is a palette in my collection called whatever. It's a W7 palette. W7 palette? Little man. You are silly. You are silly. Do, 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 do. Now, what I do with the clothes that I sort out, anything I'm not keeping is going to a local thrift as a, as a donation. I mean, I live at the thrift store. So, there goes the dog. There's probably somebody delivering something. We'll hope that me... Killing some of the background noise. Quiet down the dog. Just we shall see. I've got one of my little cotton rounds that I crocheted up oh, that I'm using to wipe the color off of the brush. So I could keep using the same brush for stuff. Don't stick your finger in my ear, lovey. 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 Yes. Lovey boy. Of course. Lovey. <laughs> you silly. Good thing you're cute, huh? Uh -huh. <laughs> lovey. It's playing with my sponges. Luckily, they're not wet. You're right. I don't know why I'm doing something semi-elaborate for going out on errands, but it's a matter of what the heck, you know? Why not? Did you just put a heck on me? I wanted the heck in you. You beat silly. Apparently I'm gonna get a lot of help from boy. As a bing bing boy. Bing bing boy. I'm gonna spend a lot of time learning. Only because he's a little bitty guy and I do not have explicit permission from his parents to leave him in. I will have to check with them before I do anything just to see if they don't mind if I don't edit him out this time. Since there's going to be a lot. Now, one of the other things that I'm going to do, or am looking into starting doing, started doing what? Because I think it would be a good thing to do. It's going to change my editing a lot. It will change the editing considerably. Because I'm thinking about doing closed caption. Caption. On my bit. And I think it would be a good thing. But I also think I'm going to have to plan differently. For how I do my editing. Because... Don't! It's not time to take that off. Stop helping. Sorry. What do you mean, sorry? Wow. I'm just teasing you, baby. I can't. Yeah. You want to know? You got one, too. Anyway, yes, I'm not going to start this over and take all this off and start again. No. No? Y'all are going to be stuck with Shorty. Well, 
also. Where was I? Oh yeah. Danger, danger, danger. Putting the closed captions. Closing captions. The editing program I have has a fairly easy way to do it, but I have to sit and type all the words in. Or at least most of the words in, because in case you haven't noticed, there are a lot of things lot of in, in closed captions that don't get verbatim. So, you know, I'm, I'm looking at doing some. No, I didn't spray that central color, even though it's a shimmery, glittery kind of thing. Because I'm not looking for high glam. I have done everything so far with the fluffy all over shadow that I got in one of the boxes. And I'm trying to see if it's got a I don't know which brand brush this is but I like it it's just it's fluffy but it's not so flimsy that you can do kind of a bit with it be nice so there's that bit yeah. I'm gonna do the inner corner bit and I'm gonna do a different brush with that just because that space is way too small to stick the plug in brush in. Brush him. Got a fairly nice looking gold in here. Whoops. Yeah, we're gonna see how that works. How it works? Not too bad. Not too bad. I have a pair. Not parents, parent. Parent. You're a parent. Parent. Really, really. That's why I call kids that do that a a auto mobile recording device with random replay because there are sometimes he will discuss things that he heard in somebody else's conversation with completely other people at random times. Which can occasionally cause a little puppy. And you brush your hair. No, you're not gonna brush my hair. Oh. Especially not with a comb. Oh. That's a comb, not a brush, baby. Yeah, I'm not getting too elaborate in this first in corner under the eye, because I haven't put any of my base on. Base on yet? Yeah, in case you didn't hear what I said, he's gonna repeat. Okay, I think I'm going to quit with that there. That there. And. 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 Yeah, and. Get started on the rest of this. The rest of this. Now I'm going to do stills of my sort out. Sort with out. the clothes. What we'll see how it goes. Yes, he goes. Elf camo CC cream. Yes. Good what stuff. Good stuff. Some of my favorite. You are happy. Especially going over that heavy oh, sunscreen. Because this is not heavy. This and you don't heavy. need a lot of it. Plus, it's got another little bit of sunscreen to it. So, we're the merrier. Now, I don't know if he's necessarily going to be in the full film as a feature 
guest. What? Or what? if he's only gonna be Now, one of the other things I'm going to be doing while I'm sorting clothes is I will probably take some shots of some of my most recent thrift store scores. Scores? Because I did some really good scores. Oh, yeah. Including some really nifty boots. And I'm not talking winter boots, I'm talking about just cool boots. Okay. Yeah, that's better. For two bucks. With so two I'll bucks. probably show those. And then when I put my clothes back in the closet, the ones I'm keeping, when I put them back, all the winter stuff is going to go in the back corner because it's getting warm. Now this sweater, I love this sweater. It's a little cotton sweater. So it's not heavy, it's not thick, it's not hot. In relatively cool spring days, it's very comfortable. But it's gonna go, once once it goes to the laundry, and it'll probably go in the woodland area because once it gets hot around here, it's hot, 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 hot. Awful. And once, once it gets to that level, I've got this wonderful stuff called Zero Sweat that I put in the places on my face that get really, really, really intensely sweaty. If I'm having a high pain day, this goes on to begin with. Because if I'm having a high pain day, the sweat will just run from here and here. And it just, it's nasty. It's off. It really is. And I can't stop it and it washes the makeup right off. And it's just, ew. Angie from 4F Beauty was talking about the stuff that she uses. There's a slightly different formula between the one in the U.S. and the one in um, Europe and United Kingdom and all that because I looked it up based on Angie's little, you know, click on this link. I'll get it in a minute. Um, and it said it couldn't be shipped to the U.S. So I used the name and the type of, you know, product it was, and I found it. But I found a U.S. site and I'm not sure what the what the difference actually is, but this one is okay in the U.S. Now, anybody who has a problem with aluminum needs to run away from this real fast, because for the most part, it's just an aluminum derivative. But it's for hands, feet, body, anywhere that you have too much sweat that you cannot deal with. Now, the Lumi stuff, that's a deodorant. This is not a deodorant. This is strictly antiperspirant. There's no smell, none of that. It's just, it keeps you from sweating. And let me tell you, you know when you have it on. You really do. I put my serum level stuff on first so that I've got at least something under it. And then I put the zero sweat in through here and down along my nose and just over the eyebrows. I don't put it actually in the eyes, just, you know, like press it in over the eyebrows a little bit along the nose. Cause yeah, I wear glasses. So, there you go. a little bit of a cream 
bronzer. Elf. Elf strikes again as a D. I've got the Elf Contour Palette, which is the cream, which has got the three shades of bronzer. And I just kind of work it in like you would any other bronzer. Put it where you want it. And what I'm doing is I'm tapping in the palest of the dark shades and then the middle one just a little bit just so I can go along the edges here and go, look, I've seen some sun at some point, which I don't that often. I spend a lot of time with my head under hats during the worst of summer. And yes, when I shave the sides of my head like this, it gets sunscreen. I don't shirk on the skin on my head. I just don't. It would be foolish. Now, a little bit of a shadow down the side, not any bit of which makes this part stand out a little better, which helps because my nose is actually very small. And that is my grandson whispering in my ear being silly. Silly? Silly. Oh, come on. You're silly. This is the Elf Illuminating Palette. I'm going to take the powder up here because it's just powder. I'm going to kind of dust it around because I don't feel like getting something else out. And yes, I'm sniffing. I have allergies. And we have pollen. And I'm doing this just because I want to set some of that stuff down just a little bit because I'm going to use a powder blush. Just because I'm contrary that way. Okay, this is the Natural Glow Face Palette. And I'm going to take this kind of peachy color up here. And, yes, I know. Elf, 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 elf. No, I am not sponsored. God, I, I buy it all with my very own money. In fact, I get double use out of some of my very own money because I joined their point system. And I have three times since I joined their point system been able to drop $10 off of orders because of my points. Now I'm going to have to work on that again because after this third one, I'm down to 126 points. So, yeah. Most of what I'm getting at this point from Elf is refills on stuff. You know, like mascara and eyeliner. And that kind of thing. I'm not really going after much of anything else because I've got palettes. You know, foundation needs to be refilled every so often. I'm good with that. But it's like I've got palettes. I've got palettes coming out my ears. 
they've got a new release. I'm not buying it. For one thing, it's kind of dead dull. Not that I think it's a bad palette, but for me, it's just like dead dull. And it's a whole face collection. And it's pretty much put together and curated to be for somebody who's pretty much back brand new to stuff and is trying to do just a little makeup. A little bit. It's the Jen Atkins that, you know, it's very, very basic. And I've got all those nice warm brown neutral colors already. Got them. Don't need them. And I don't normally, I've only got one actual, quote unquote, face palette. It's full face, got eyeshadows, got face face, and such. And that's the Charlotte Tilbury that I won from Pamela from her channel on one of her giveaways. And I can't remember right this second her channel's actual handle, so I will look that up and put it in the description stuff. There's so many of them that at this point it's got the idea of grandma or granny in it that I can't remember the individuals clearly all the time. Um, she had this gorgeous Charlotte Tilbury face palette, and I won. And I love it, because if I'm going somewhere where I may have to touch up or something, I use that pooch. I know, it's not so much often that we have to worry about that these days. But... Anyway, I'm trying to get the use out of some of these palettes. I love that Charlotte Tilbury palette. It feels great. It looks good. I think I may have overdid it a little bit on my eyebrows, but I can't seem to be bothered to care. <sighs> yeah, I know. I'm kind of lazy about it. Sorry about that. Let's see. I've got one of my samples here from the box. Let's see if it's still working. Now, this is the only Cat Farm D thing that I've ever tried. And I'm trying it because it was in a box. And it's the tattoo liner. I'm just using using it because it's available in my collection and it's still a viable liner I could care less about the manufacturer or cat or what her and the manufacturer decided to come to terms about and what cat's doing. I'm using it because let's be real, I paid for the box. So I paid for the eyeliner. And I'm not wasting money. Just not. Okay, now I have never had, and never will, anytime soon, because things are too expensive. I have never had 
thoroughly natural palette. I love the Cinco palette. I like it a lot. It looks good. Now, I've got some of the gold under here. And I think I'm going to put some of the dark burgundy that I've got in the outer corner with the black under here. Just kind of lightly. It's amazing. Ever since I started doing this YouTube stuff, it doesn't seem that I can do any kind of an eye look without running something under the lashes. It's become second nature. The eyes don't look finished until I get something. Okay. Are we back? Now what? What do you mean now what? I'll take this brown pencil. Brown pencil? And do it tightly. Honey. Yeah, if you're wondering about these lines and this line and this line, I wear a CPAP so I can breathe. And the straps leave indents that can be seen for quite some time. I can sometimes get rid of them by doing a good massage on the face, but not always. And then I take this blue pencil and go under here just because I want to do something a little different right here. on the bottom waterline. And we will hope that my eyes don't water too much. Because when they water too much, then I lose all that work. Little mascara. Now, I normally love CoverGirl Mascara. This one is called the Super Sizer. I'm not sure I'm thrilled with this brush though. It's a little weird. It's closer to being an under lash kind of size, but even for the under lashes, it's a little weird. It's got really short, fine bristles that tend to get clogged up with the mascara. So, it can be a little difficult to put it on and actually get some results. Okay, that's it. the versions of Wander that's got the big cheeto for a brush. Big cheeto. But it seems to work pretty well. It's got that silly curve and it looks like a freaking cheeto. Ooh. 
The way I find that this works best though is I stick it into but because it's funky too, man. Stick it in, squiggle it around like I'm trying to stir. And it comes up with some pretty good stuff. So you can actually see my little tiny fine lashes. Because I was born white haired. And my lashes never really got very dark. So I constantly been having to do things to get them to grow longer, like lash serums, and getting older, some of them are falling out more, having an autoimmune issue that messes with my hair, has them falling out more. So putting the lash serums on has become an absolute necessity. But then I've also got to find mascaras that do the volume and length thing so that somebody might stand a chance to see them. Okay. Yes, Betty Boy is still here. side where there was the conjunction of cover girl so that we had a scary chance to see my eyelashes. Not too bad. Now, I know I'm going to have a mask on and more than likely the mask is going to rub off my cotton picking lips, but I'm putting it on anyway. This is Physician's Formula in Coral Minerals. Now, I know why Asher is in here. It's absolutely fascinated by makeup, especially the really, really bright colors. So sometimes if they're not that bright, he's not as big about it. But I'm not going to tell him he can't play with the makeup if he's fascinated. We usually make him sit with somebody so he doesn't like stick mascara into his eye. But there we go with this. I'm going to run away for a while, possibly even do an errand. Um, we'll have to see. But I'm also going to go hit the hair with a curling hair. Now, I actually do have one. Yes, it actually is long enough. Top. And I will be back in a while. Yes, yes indeed, figure out how to do live shots. Aren't you surprised? Woohoo! I'm tired. Already. This is just the shirts and dresses. Yay! As I go through all of this, I have everything that ends up on top of the pillows of the head. So donate pile. Everything else is in these sorted to season piles. 
everything will get put away eventually. I was digging through this and found all of my summer tank tops like dead in the middle of the rack after my beloved hubby did all the hard work and everything off the rack. Uh, as is, and when I say dresses, I mean dresses. There are two. One long one with kind of a tank top top on it that I picked up while we were in Florida, and it is like almost a foot too long for me. And then a great one that I picked up from up here. That's it. That's why I have four dresses. I have some skirts. We'll get to those in a minute. bleached it first and while it's still not dark or what I would necessarily call bright it's much better and I think it's really pretty the color itself is just a really pretty color as I said it's called rose I'm probably going to try a few of the other colors as this one grows out because they do have some other interesting colors um, 
But yeah, this is what was hiding under the hat. Fresh shaved down on the sides. And after hitting it with the curling iron, this is what we got. So, hopefully, I will get all this together before Tuesday is over. Don't count on me. I just, that's just the way my world works. Tell me what you think. Tell me what you think of the sea color now. I really like the sea color palettes. They are significantly less expensive than their inspirations. Significantly. Which I really appreciate. So, there you go. Wear your mask. Keep your distance. Stay out of jail. I don't got no bail money. If you start it yourself. Mind your manners. Be kind to somebody. Just for the heck of it. Somebody you don't even know. You don't even have to necessarily go find a friend. But be kind. Really. Stay safe. Get your vaccine. I got mine. Hope you got his. We're both okay. I have allergies. That's all the symptoms on is allergies. How do I know? When I take my allergy pill, they slow down. That's how. One of the other people in the house got her shot. She's fine. And she's got a, a, a breathing disability all her own. So there you go with that. Be good.